Okay. Well, let's get some early bird dumbbells in. Live, live, live. Good morning, wherever you may be, as Knott's Berry Farm has entered the building. Our first to check in. Welcome early bird dumbbells. We've got these, these 20 pounders for me. You may have something different, maybe some five pounders, three pounders. Maybe you're using a can of green beans. Hard to believe it's June 8th. Wow. Our first class was sometime around mid-March. Little Tizzle checking in. Hello, little Tizzle. And go across. Across. That's it. Just so hard to believe. It's class number what? Type it in the comment section there if you know what class number this is. Pretty amazing. That's it. And let me tighten this just a little bit. that falling and now you're gonna go curl to the press early bird dumbbells early bird dumbbells welcome mom we will see you Saturday and possibly Friday gonna try to switch that flight over to Friday to get an extra day in North Carolina dinger has checked in Welcome. What a great way to start this week. Some early bird dumbbells. That's it. I partner up with Easton every Monday for a little musical Monday on my Instagram. You'll see my Instagram story has a new song. It's about pitching. There's three key words you want to think about when you're pitching a baseball. Balance, power, and stride. Balance, power, stride. Good job. We will begin class in one minute. Back to the shoulder press, shoulder press, early birds. What'd you have for breakfast, Dinger? Knott's Berry Farm, Little Tizzle. What did you have for breakfast? And let me know how the uh, clarity is on the video. I have to use my phone to go YouTube Live today for the first time because uh, we accidentally spilled coffee on our laptop. All good in Missouri, says Soto, a boy. Very clean, I like it. Friday sounds very wonderful. Yes, 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 so. Uh, we'll be able to change our flight for free. We just gotta make sure we find one that works. Very good, Knott's Berry, thank you kindly. So we put those dumbbells down. We'll go three claps, one, two, three. Arms high. Stretch out the armpits. Snip the armpits. <laughs> Let's give all of my neighbors a round of applause. Uh, they put up with me yelling in the backyard every day from nine to 10. Thank you, neighbor. Appreciate it. Real team players. Pet your toes, don't pick your nose. That's it. And spread out wide, smell your left kneecap. Good job. A lot of you have 
finished up your school or this is possibly the final week of your Zoom classes and all your schoolwork, some of you have two weeks left. Switch over to the right. Smell that right kneecap. I want to congratulate you all on, uh, on getting through this crazy year of school side to side. We haven't had any in-person classes, in-person team practices, and you guys battled through all of it. We're starting to open up and get on the other side of things. A little bit here and there. Pick those strawberries. On your marks, get set, go. One, two, three. 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 Bee honkus, butterflies. And for those of you that have checked in for almost all of these classes, just proud of you. How much stronger you've gotten, how much smarter you've gotten, how much faster you've gotten, and how much fun we've had. It was a lot of fun. And make a V, touch your left phalange. And this won't be the end of, of my virtual uh, classes. Uh, we will pick up this PE class in the fall, and we'll do it uh, during the school year, because I love it so much. Switch. But this summer, I'm partnering with uh, a company called Virtual Summer Camps USA. And I'm going to coach the baseball camps for them. They'll also have soccer and hockey uh, uh, to be offered. And I'll be making a lot of videos. And you'll, uh, you'll attend my camp uh, from your living room or your backyard. Both phalanges. As far as the soccer camps, uh, those will be 55 minutes uh, every day. Mine will be 55 minutes, and I think the same for hockey. So you can sign up for all the sports or just one of the sports, but I'll be doing that for all my kids that I can't see in Southern California. Uh, that's where I'll be for seven weeks this summer, and I'll be in North Carolina for one, but you guys are all over the place, so tune in. And I'll, I'll make sure I email everybody uh, the, the link to sign up for the virtual camp. If you're not signed up on my email list, go to coachballgame.com. What's that? Coachballgame.com and uh, sign up for the email list. And then you'll get notified when we start that up. Modeling pose, left leg out, right foot across. Twist and look behind. That's it. And then hug yourself. Hug your knee into your chest. I love your knee. Good job, ladies and gentlemen. Switch. If your back pops, what do you say, little tizzle? What do you say, Soto? If your back pops, what do you say, Dinger? Not very Farm. Oh, you say, oh, my Lanta. Hug that knee into the chest. And then go downward facing dog. That's it. I think it's probably getting a little hot in Missouri and Connecticut and North Carolina. It's not too bad here in California, upward facing dog. But summertime has hit. No doubt about it. Arch that back. Bark like a dog. Roof, roof, half moon. Let's try to stay here for 12 seconds. We'll give each other uncomfortable eye contact while we're doing the half moon. Yeah. Oh, had to scratch my nose. I lost. Switch. And up to the feet. Let's hustle. Let's freeze. Floss karate. Let's hustle. Let's hustle faster. Let's hustle faster. Let's freeze. Floss karate. Three claps. One, two, three. Arm circles. Start small and get bigger. Welcome everybody who's in here. We got a lot of folks in here rocking and rolling. Comment with your nickname and what you had for breakfast. And go back and hug yourself. And move that neck around. And let me know what class number this is. How many classes? Flamingo stretch.
It's not number one. It's not number two. Switch. Class number 76, Knott's Berry Farm is correct. JKN25 is correct. Love it, love it, love it. Welcome. Wherever you may be, who else answered that correctly? Ooh, Frosted Flakes for uh, the Alberta family. Dalton Becker, bubbles in the house. Bubbles ready to rock and roll. 10 jumping jacks, ready, exercise. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Speedy in the house, mustache salute. Um, let's go team meeting pose. On a knee, shoulders back. Balance a uh, imaginary goose on your head. And I just wanna know, uh, these 13 people that are here, what's your nickname? Just check in with a nickname. Uh, we're gonna stay here, drink some water if you need to. But we're only live on YouTube, so I just wanna make sure I know exactly who is here. And I see Speedy is one, Chicago Tubbs is two. Um, keep it coming so we can see. Some of you can't type into the comment section, and that's fine. But I know Chicago Tubbs is here and he had Frosted Flakes. I know Speedy is here. I just saw Bubbles has checked in as well. But it's important to me to know who's here so I can call out your nicknames as we do this workout today. There's a little delay as I can't see any comments coming through. There's Speedy with cookies. Uh, is Little Tizzle still here? Jake N25, Dinger, Soto, Knott's Berry Farm. Who am I missing out of that group? Let's start marching. Let's start marching together. Very good, a little faster. And now your knees get up to your hands. That's it. Keep moving. This is speeding up your heart rate. Super Henry is here. Welcome, Super Henry. Yep, little tizzles in the house. I love how we're going roll call on YouTube Live. My, uh, my history teacher back in seventh grade, whenever the bell would ring, he'd close the classroom door, everybody be in their seats, and he'd say, please open up your notebooks the exact same way every time. Uh, and then he would uh, take roll. BMW in the house, Grandma Squeaky Cheeks in the house. Outstanding. Um, I wanna go two minute run. So that might be in place, that might be pacer test, that might be around your house, up the stairs, around the couch. But we're gonna go two minutes, go. Dinger in the house, you can jog backwards, you can jog forwards. Good hustle, Soto. Good hustle, Sevy. Sevy in the house from Ohio. And a boy. Keep it rocking. Grandma Squeaky Cheeks, she had trouble finding my YouTube, is that correct? I have to use my phone today because we spilled coffee on the laptop. So keep it going, keep it running. Class number 76, one minute down, one to go. Oh my Lanta, says Chicago Tubbs. Atta boy, yes. Whenever I heard that coffee was spilled on the Mac, I said the same thing, oh my Lanta. I love my Mac. I plug my microphone into there and I, I record my Jim Nance. I actually got a gig, a voiceover gig, 
from some guys that want me to do a Jim Nance voiceover. Paid gig. Pretty cool. Hello, friends. 15 seconds. That's it. And stop. Get that water break, and then we are going to do the seven. We're going to do it first. As you remember, we were doing this every single day for about the first 50 classes. And we were graphing our data, seeing if we could get better. And I know all of you here, Sevi, uh, Tito, Chicago Tubbs, Soto, Dinger, JKN25, Grandma Squeaky Cheeks, uh, Knott's Berry Farm, Super Henry, all of you, uh, you were here for all of those classes and you got better each time. So let's get back in the groove of our seven and let's see how many we can do on your marks. Get set, high five the sky, high five. That's it. Let it go. You can do this standing up. You can do this on a knee. You can even do this laying on your back. Meet, squeeze, and freeze. High five the sky. If you want to make it really challenging, after you toss the ball up in the air, close your eyes and see if you can catch it. Lastly, when you throw it up in the air, create backspin on the ball. We've got to create backspin on the ball that we throw. Same with a basketball. Got to create that backspin. And stop. Let me know how many you were able to do. I want to see your names pop up in that comment section. I want to see how many high five the skies you were able to do. No, I have not gotten a haircut during the entire quarantine. Wow. Grab your water, type it in. Our next drill will be the wall drill. If you'd like to go ahead and get started on the wall drill, you can. Uh, I want to stay around the phone so I can see how many high five this guys you got. But the wall drill, very simple. You get up against the wall, you throw it, and you catch it. The old song is, take a tennis ball. Ah! Let's start over with that. Take two, and action. Take a tennis ball, throw it up against a wall, stand nice and tall, and catch it like that. Meet it, squeeze it, meet it, squeeze it. Need it, squeeze it, but don't forget to freeze it. Uh, now you can toss it underhand if you'd like, or overhand, up to you. On your marks, get set, and go. Once again, if you're throwing overhand, create backspin on the ball. When you're throwing it, throw it with backspin. That means your fingers will finish down to the ground. This wall has seen a lot of tennis balls this quarantine. Say absolutely if your wall has seen a lot of tennis balls this quarantine. Absolutely. Ten seconds. How many can you get? got some Santa Ana winds rolling into California and stop let me know how many you got there you can probably hear the wind those are called the Santa Ana winds here in California gets a little breezy next up is our alligators folks as speedy got 572 round of applause speedy well done 
Uh, you've got the ball, throw it against the wall so it rolls back to you. If you have a partner or a brother or a sister that can roll it back and forth with you, good job BMW, hello Nala, uh, then you can roll it back and forth. But the idea is to get that bee honkus poking out and down on the toilet. Sumo, sumo, dance, dance. Everybody dance on the toilet. Hey, and hold those pizzas in your hand so you're ready. You don't want to have your hands on your knees. This looks like you're about to throw up. Okay, we don't want to throw up. We want to field the ground ball. On your marks, get set. Alligator. Smack. Smack. Moving those feet, quick as a mongoose, to get in front of the ball, and fielding it out front. Got to field it out front like this right here. Ozzie Smith taught me that. Name drop. That's the name drop salute. Name drop. Time is called. Um, quick question, trivia question. Has a bird ever flown into, uh, into your window? I don't think birds see glass, but I think that just happened upstairs. And that kind of knocked me off guard. Uh, hopefully that bird is okay. 253 for Speedy. Chicago Tub says many times. Okay, yeah, Bird, uh, I, I think that's, that's parenting 101 for birds. They need to let their kids know that when you get in their house, there's these things called glass windows, and uh, you don't want to fly head first 100 miles an hour into those things. Just happened a few days ago to Jake in 25. Well done, well done. All right. Number four, uh, let's, uh, let's go soccer juggling, right? Soccer ball juggling. Let me get my soccer ball. Sixty seconds. How many of these guys can you do? How many soccer juggles? Can't touch your hands. On your marks, get set, and go. Oh, I cheated. I touched my hands. That's only three. been my magic number here. Three again. Oh, I got four. Coach Steve, who's my partner with virtual summer camps, He's the soccer coach. He's going to have to teach me how to do this. Five seconds left. And stop. How many did you do, Speedy? How many Chicago tubs? How many did you do, Sevy? Tito, Soto, Knott's Berry Farm. You can just say it to the camera. I can't hear you, but... Uh, but I'll feel it. All right, number five, through the legs with the figure eight. Through the legs with the figure eight. Chicago Tubs, yep, you and me both. Three was my magic number. Figure eight starts. Now, through the legs. That's it. Nice, nice, nice. Go fast, go quick. That's it, that's it. Well done. Through the legs. And switch directions. Switch those directions there. 
Now I'm passing it backwards to the front, back to front. Ah! This is a little tougher for me. Keep your behonkus low to the ground. Engage your legs and your core. That's it. Oops. Three seconds. And stop. So I'm uh, supposed to be an expert at this stuff, but I mess up all the time. That's a good lesson for you. Messing up, it's part of the game. It's part of sports. You're going to mess up more than you succeed in a lot of things, especially baseball. So um, get used to that fact, embrace it, and uh, learn to be a good teammate, uh, especially when you fail. Those were my favorite teammates. They were able to stay positive and, uh, and think about others when they were struggling. Way to go, Speedy. Well done, everybody. Let's go around the waist with the hula hoops. This is number six of our The Seven. On your marks, get set, and here we go. Shirts are tucked. That's it. Great job, Soto. Great job, little Tizzle. Man, oh man. Great job, Tito, Sevy, Jake N25, Dinger, Knott's Berry Farm, Speedy, Grandma Squeaky Cheeks, Mom and Dad, ah! Chicago Tubs, anybody else in there, Alberta, Canada, Bad Girl, switch directions, switch directions, keep your number going. Five seconds, three, two, and stop. Very nice. If you're keeping track of your seven on your paper or graphing it, jot it down, get a sip of water. And the last of the seven is what? That's a trivia question. BMW, well done with 56. Well done, well done. Good job, Chicago Tubbs. Good job, Knott's Berry Farm. And Speedy. Um, what is number seven? Ping pong is correct. BMW, double bicep salute. And a scholar salute. You've been paying attention during this PE class. I'm just going to go tennis ball, pop, 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 right here like this. You can go back and forth, too. I'm going to work on both hands. Just popcorn. Pop it back and forth. On your marks. Get set. Go. Pop, 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 pop. Just a simple task, but we're very focused on this one simple task. I was watching the movie Frozen 2 the other day, and Anna said something very, very smart. She said, just do the next good thing. Just do the next good thing. There's always going to be things to do. Right now, this is the next good thing. This drill right here. Do it real good. And Anna was, is, is a very happy, happy character. Happy person. I think it's because she stays in the zone of just doing one simple thing at a time. And stop. Very nice. My favorite Disney princess, though, is Belle. But I also love the humor um, and the personality of Rapunzel. She's very funny. Let's go ahead and... Uh, uh, take a quick water break and answer that trivia question. Your favorite Disney character. Good job, BMW. Knott's Berry Farm using a real ping pong ball and a real paddle. Grandma Squeaky Cheeks got a lot. Only dropped it twice. Outstanding. And a girl. Favorite Disney character. 
Think it through. Type it in the comment section. Nice. Speedy with Tomator. Knott's Berry Farm got 27 in a row on the uh, ping pong. That's strong. Well done. Yeah, I like Mater a lot too. From the, uh, from the Cars series. Daisy Duck, Super Henry, I'm right there with you. Also a big fan of Daffy Duck. Mater's great. Can't go wrong with a guy named Bugs Bunny. Also a big fan of uh, Foghorn Leghorn, if you recall. Foghorn Leghorn. And Yosemite Sam. If, if I'm gonna... If I'm gonna say the guy I would want to, to be my, my coach, I would probably say Yosemite Sam. Suffering Suckapash. <laughs> love it, love it, love it. Hey, let's set up our Can You Beat Coach Ball game. Baseball diamond. One, two, three, four. We got a trash can right in the middle. This is, this is maybe the 76th, 76th Suffering Suckapash time we've done this. Home plate. First base. Let me back this up so you can see it. Second base, third base. All right, now the whole game is in screen. And we're just gonna do one push-up at first, two push-ups at second, three push-ups at third, four push-ups at home. Can you beat coach ball game? Oh, but first, uh, shh. go text a few friends. Share this YouTube link uh, with some friends. I'm gonna give you 60 seconds. It's our last week of class, so I'm thinking there might be some kids that don't have Zoom classes. And if you email them or share this link on Facebook, or if you text your friends and say, hey, there's only one more week of this thing and it's really fun. Why don't you come join me? Take another 45 seconds to do that. That'll be good. And we'll, it'll, be a, it'll be a fun game, because we can see how many people are here. Right now there's 13. Give you another 25 seconds or so. I'll just stare at you. And, uh, and watch. Oh, good job, Knott's Prairie Farm. He's emailing some friends. Somebody's joined the party. We're up to 14. Little Tizzle's still in the house. She's inviting some friends. At a girl. 20 seconds till we start the Can You Beat Coach Ball Game game. Chicago Tubbs. I think he might have to leave. At a boy, Chicago Tubbs. All right, we are ready to go. Thank you for inviting some friends, making this class grow. On your marks, get set, and go. One push up at first. One push up at second, or uh, two push ups at second. Three push ups at third. And shoot the basket. Four push ups at home. And shoot the basket. Did anybody beat me? Anybody beat Coach Ballgame? Get some water. Speedy's done. Who else is done? Tap it in the comment section. Little Tezzle's still here. She's doing her workout. Chicago Tubbs beat me. Mm. At a boy. Now we're gonna step it up. So we're gonna double each number. We're gonna double each number, which means how many push ups are we gonna do at first base? Two. How many push ups at second base? Four. How many push ups at third base? Six. 
How many push-ups at home? Eight. Good job, Knott's Perry. On your mark. Get set. Here we go, Super Henry. Go. One, two. Shoot the basket. Now we're doing four here. One, two, three, four. Uh-oh, now we're doing six here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh-oh. Now we're doing eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Whoosh. Anybody beat me? Jake N25 got me. Well done. Speedy beat me. Well done. Get some water. Little Tizzle really wanted to get stronger at her push-ups. Speedy's dad also did it. Mustache salute. Thank you, Speedy, for your donations to the PE class. And for all 13 of you, you've all supported uh, with the Venmo. And we thank you for doing that. I love doing my job. And uh, I'm thankful for you guys donating just what you can through this tough time. Hopefully, you're starting to get back to work. I'm starting to get back to work on the ball field. We are one week away from my first summer camp. That'll be in North Carolina. Two weeks away from my first Orange County, California camp. That'll be in Tustin. And I'm about to sneeze. <coughs> That's what these Santa Ana winds do. They blow some pollen into the air and gets up your nose and then you sneeze. Kind of like Mr. Watermelon. Remember, uh, he grew some orange hair and then he sneezed. That was our wacky story. Thank you. The first bless you came from Chicago Tubs. Sportsmanship salute. All right. Now the numbers we just did, we're going to double those. So I want to know how many push-ups we're going to do at first. How many push-ups we're going to do at second? How many push-ups at third? 12. And how many push-ups at home? Oh yeah, 16. Bicep salute. On your mark. You got this, guys. You got this, little tizzle. You got this, Sobo. Not very far. JK25. Speedy. Dinger. Everybody. You got this. Grandma Squeaky Cheeks. Super Henry. On your marks. Get set. Go. Four at first. Eight at second. That's it, Soto. Good job, Speedy's dad. Twelve at third. Good job, BMW. Sixteen at home. That's what you call tough. Somehow BMW beat me. Wow. You are tough. BMW. I black salute Speedy family. Mustache salute BMW. You gotta be breathing hard. Let's go deep breath in through the nose. Slowly out the mouth. Boy, everyone says speedy. Chicago Tubbs gave it his best. Could not get to the finish line. Honesty salute. So Chicago Tubbs, the goal for you tomorrow 
and we'll do the same exercise try to get a couple more and then maybe by our last class on Friday class number 80 man that's crazy quarantine class number 80 on Friday we'll have a little graduation party uh, no doubt about it I'll play the music now getting their virtual diploma from the coach ball game PE class Chicago Tubs uh, so make sure you tell all your friends about that uh, that's gonna be epic and there is a chance that I'll, I'll be on an airplane Friday in which case we'll do it on Thursday I think we'll just do it on Thursday anyway yeah we'll say Thursday is our graduation and Friday is up in the air literally we might be up in the air okay let's go ahead and go two minutes of what a ball player does what kind of uh, things are gonna make your parents say wow they are epic and they are awesome and go make your bed wash the dishes uh, clean some dog poop, uh, clean some toilets, do so. Good job, everybody. going to do some dumbbells while you're doing that, while you're cleaning up shop. I'm rocking the dumbbell runs. Let me know what you're doing. I know Soto's making the bed. That's a given. Harrison Green in the house. Hello. We're in uh, the middle of two minutes of what a ball player does, Harrison. So make that bed. Clean that room. Clean up the bedroom. Do something epic. That's right, Blue Jays fan. Nickname Blue Jays fan. Speedy is putting the dishes away. Watch out, that's a ball player putting the dishes away. At a boy. Good job, good job. Blue Jays fan, we're gonna have a graduation on Thursday here. Thursday at class will be our graduation day where you'll get a uh, virtual diploma from Coach Ballgame. It won't be an actual piece of paper. It'll be a song. It'll be a diploma in the form of a song. That's right. And stop. Very nice. Awesome. So, um, in the last few minutes we have here, I want to work uh, some sit-ups and some floss karate. So let's go sit-up position. And we'll go 30 seconds of sit-ups, 30 seconds floss karate. On your sit-ups. Try to get your hands to the ground, and then hands to the socks. Hands to the ground, hands to the socks, go. Boom. This is the most important part of your body, your core. It holds you up. It makes you swing the bat, throw the ball, everything core, your belly, your tum tum, and floss karate. 30 seconds of this. We'll switch hips halfway through. And switch that hip, that leg. The invention of the floss karate it came right here at PE class. And pause, very nice. 
get a swig of that water, little tizzle. Soto, Dinger, Knott's Berry Farm, JKN25, Blue Jays fan, Super Henry, Speedy, Speedy's dad, Grandma Squeaky Cheeks. And for all the others that can't type into the comment section, but are tuning in, Mr. Soto, Mr. Vancouver, Mr. Cheese, Mr. Dinger, Pickle, Penguin, the Floss Karate is a little Tizzle's favorite. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Well, let's repeat. Let's do it again, BMW. Let's do it, Bubbles. On your marks, get set. Sit ups. Hands touch the ground, hands touch the socks. Ground, socks. That's it. Well done. That's it. Five seconds. And floss karate. spin while you're doing it, if you can. This is the disco floss karate. And switch hips and feet. And stop. Very good. A little bit of the old water break. <laughs> For all of you out there that, uh, that are wondering, you know, what is something I can do this week that is gonna make the world a better place? Um, we've had a lot of words of the day uh, but again, I, th I think the most important word uh, of, of these moments is the word listen. Listen. And especially listen to people that are sad. Right? I remember I would have a teammate, and they'd be sad, and they'd be sitting on the bench, and I could tell they were down. And I'd go sit beside them, and I wouldn't say anything. I'd just sit there, and I'd just listen. And, and after about two minutes of awkwardness, They'd look over at me and they'd say, hey, what you doing staring at me and sitting right next to me? I was like, I, I'm, just, I'm just here to listen. Everything okay? And then they'd start talking to me and telling me, well, I'm sad about this. I made a bad grade on my science test. I'm slumping. I'm not hitting the ball hard. Um, and a lot of times I wouldn't even say anything back. I'd just nod. And that's called listening. And uh, I think it's super, super important to soak up as much listening as you can, especially for those teammates that are sad, down and out. Uh, helps out a lot. Hey, Mrs. Ballgame in the house. Let's give Mrs. Ballgame mustache salute, little tizzle. Let's give her an eye black salute, Soto. Let's give her a beard salute, Dinger. Let's give her a mullet salute, JKN25. Let's give her a Brad Pitt salute, Speedy and Speedy's dad. Let's give her a bounce back salute, Super Henry. Let's give her a Skylar salute, Knott's Berry Farm. How about a double bicep, triple bicep, quadruple bicep, Chicago Tubs? How about a sportsmanship salute? Grandma Squeaky Cheeks. A lot of atta girls coming for Mrs. Ball game there. Love it. All right, gang, last set. We're going sit-ups, floss karate, but this time you've got to do sit-ups like you've got ants in your pantaloons, and you've got to do the floss karate like you've got a bird um, chasing a bunch of ants in your socks. You ever had a bird chasing some ants in your socks? That's about to happen. On your mark. Get set. Go.
Sit-ups. Oh, ants in my pants. Sit-ups. Oh, ants in my pants. Sit-ups. Oh, they're still there. Oh, whoa. Get out of here. Oh, man, they're crawling all over my pantaloons. karate. Oh, there's a bird in my sock and it's chasing some ants. Get out, bird. Get out, bird. Whew. Floss karate. Oh, it's back. It's back in my sock. Oh, it's in the other one. I got two birds in both socks. <sighs> Exploring the space. Five seconds, Super Henry. And... <laughs> Stop. Hey, don't forget to say goodbye on your way out the door today. And don't forget to tell all your friends we will have a graduation uh, Thursday. Thursday, 9 o'clock. We'll do trivia, as always. Uh, but see you tomorrow, Soto, for class number 77. You're welcome. Yeah. You're welcome, JCAN25. See you, Seven Eater. Is that Sevy from Ohio? See you, Speedy. You're welcome, Sevy. You are welcome, Super Henry. You're welcome, Dinger. See you tomorrow, BMW. See you later, alligator, little tizzle. See you, Chicago Tubs. You're welcome, bat girl. Baby Ruth, you're welcome. We'll see you, Knott's Berry Farm. All right, everybody. Bye-bye.